evening. Were you guys hanging out over the weekend? Yeah. Okay, some of you were actually. I saw some of you over the weekend. Uh, but in any event, good morning, everyone. Sorry to uh, sorry to hold you up. We have um, uh, exciting announcement uh, to uh, to make, and I've got some great. Uh, uh, speakers behind me, you're going to hear from uh, Dan Fitzpatrick, of course, the President of Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce and the President and CEO of Citizens Bank. You're going to hear from Somali Shri, uh, who's a student and a Philadelphia Youth Network alum. And then you're going to hear from Stacey Holland, who's the Executive Director of the Philadelphia Youth Network and I believe not an alum uh, because she's a co-founder of the organization. She would only be an alum if she had started it when she was 15, um, and I think she was busy uh, at uh, that time. But we are excited uh, that all of you uh, came out on a not so great a day out there, the weather. Uh, we're working on that. Um, our administration is committed uh, to learning and uh, encouraging uh, engagement uh, with our young people and creating opportunities for them uh, to uh, grow and, uh, of course, become successful citizens in this city. For us, these opportunities start with great schools providing a high-quality education, creating quality education options for our parents and our students, positive after-school and out-of-school programs and activities, fun and safe summer programs and enhanced summer jobs and internships all across the city of Philadelphia. These opportunities help Philadelphia's young people achieve success for later on in their adult lives. Today I want to talk about those enhanced summer job opportunities. They provide young people with valuable work experience, put money in their pockets, not a bad thing, uh, and teach them the value of a dollar uh, regardless of whether a dollar is actually worth a dollar uh, today anymore. But that's a, that'll be a different speech uh, when I make a major economic address, uh, which will take about uh, two hours. Um, that's not today. But it also helps to prepare them for uh, ed higher education and the 21st century workforce, which is what this is really all about. Now I have some other comments to make about that in a second. Unfortunately, due in part to still the aftermath of the Great Recession, the recovery uh, has been slow in some areas and certainly for youth employment. The fact of the matter is that youth unemployment in Pennsylvania is about 15 percent higher than it is for adults. Nationwide, youth employment is at its lowest level since World War II. The driving force behind an enhanced summer jobs program is Work Ready Philadelphia. And through Work Ready last summer, we provided more than 6,500 job opportunities for young people all across the city. And we're thankful for the 6,500 jobs last summer. The fact of the matter is, is that we need more and more and more. Every year, Work Ready receives at least twice as many applications for internship opportunities as there are jobs. These young people want to work, and quite honestly, it is an adult responsibility to help young people at every step along the way. And that's why I'm challenging the entire city of Philadelphia to come together and create 10,000 summer jobs for 2013. We need the support of our businesses small, medium, and large, nonprofit organizations, community leaders, and individual citizens to help prepare our young people for their futures. A little later, you'll hear more about how to get involved. But first, I want to remind everyone that the economic vitality of our city comes from highly skilled and a well-trained workforce. This is a chance to make sure that the next generation of Philadelphia's workers are already a step or two ahead of the game. We're about 5,000 jobs short right now of reaching our goal. And this year, we're challenging you to get involved even earlier. That's why we're having this announcement in January. I want to take a second to recognize some of the key employers. This is not an exhaustive list, uh, but some who have already uh, made a commitment to hire at least 25 young people this summer. 
Bank of America. And I want to thank in particular, and I saw him as I was coming in. He may still be over there somewhere. Where, oh, now he's up front uh, trying to confuse me. Um, my good, good friend, Tom Woodward, uh, in particular. Please thank and recognize Tom and Bank of America. <laughs> the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, Independence Blue Cross, Comcast, Drexel University, PICO, TD Bank, Wells Fargo, and of course, Citizens Bank. Speaking of Citizens Bank, of course, I'd like to, I'm going to introduce shortly uh, Dan Fitzpatrick, President and CEO of Citizens Bank of Pennsylvania, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce. Dan has been a great champion and longtime supporter of Work Ready Philadelphia. We're, of course, proud to have him here with us uh, today. Uh, there are a number of other folks I'm going to recognize uh, in a few minutes, uh, but let me, get, uh, let me get Dan up here. Uh, and then we have a couple other uh, speakers, but all of you are critically important to this effort. Dan? Thank you, Mayor Nutter, and thank you, most importantly, for your leadership for the City of Philadelphia. As, uh, mayor Nutter is, is our education mayor, and what education means, it's everything from the, a quality you know, K-12 to education through preparing our young people for the career opportunities of the 21st century, and, and uh, Mayor Nutter does such a terrific job. It, it is great to be here uh, on behalf of both uh, Citizens Bank as well as the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce. And as uh, the mayor said, we saw some folks uh, on Saturday night at the Academy Ball, and the truth is, I was talking with Tom Woodward at about 1 a.m. on Sunday morning, and you know what we were talking about? Work ready, Philadelphia. God's honest truth. It's, I'm talking about that, the fact they'd raised additional funds to, to hire additional interns so it's just it's it's that critical an issue and we truly do have that that passion about that um, so again it's, it's my passion personal passion as well as corporate passion for this economy and as as our uh, Mayor leads us forward economically. We can't grow economically if we don't improve the skill sets of our young people. And we want to have that great inclusive economy uh, in Philadelphia in this region. And it starts with education and workforce development. So I'm going to stick to some of the script because there's so many really important facts here. Uh, and, you know, the one thing I'll mention is I'm the regional CEO for Citizens Bank for the Mid Atlantic region, part of the country. Get to other cities, and we're really fortunate here in Philadelphia to have the infrastructure that we have with. With uh, Work Ready Philadelphia, Philly Youth Network, uh, Mark Edwards, and and the the former WIV, you know, the, the workforce development organizations here, really, there's a lot of other major cities in our region that would love to have the infrastructure that Philadelphia has. Now the challenge is for corporate Philadelphia and corporate greater Philadelphia region to step forward and create additional uh, internships. So very quickly, Philadelphia has a coordinated youth employment system known as Work Ready Philadelphia. And it's a cross-sector partnership dedicated to improving the economic outcomes of the region's youth by attracting, aligning, and investing resources in youth workforce development strategies. Did you know, last summer, more than 6,800 young people held summer jobs through Work Ready and infused more than $6 million into our local economy. I mean, that's real economic impact. This is a fantastic effort on behalf of our city. However, there's more work to be done. In the same year that we had 6,800 young people in internships, more than 10,000 youth remained on the waiting list. That's, that's, that's the shame of it, is that 10,000 uh, young people were not able to get the internships they desired. And there's more than 180,000 youth in the city of Philadelphia. So there's a lot of work to be done in order for all of us to be fully inclusive. Um, with each of my leadership roles, I'm actively engaged in efforts to enhance Philadelphia's business and education climate. And for me, those two systems are intersect through work ready. We had the good fortune of being here two weeks ago talking about the manufacturing task force and the great opportunity for industrial Philadelphia to continue to grow and, and create jobs. It all intersects here at Work Ready Philadelphia. You know, participating in Work Ready is an opportunity for employers to shape Philadelphia's workforce, which is why each year Citizens Bank hires 33 interns. We've also actually had a program focusing young people on careers in financial services. We wanted to, to improve the workforce and have a good, diverse, inclusive uh, workforce for financial services. That's a collaboration of uh, many financial services firms, from the accounting firms to law firms to banks and insurance companies. So again, people are coming together, but we have to do more. Um, the bottom line is work, the Work Ready programs introduce participants to careers, develop their work-based knowledge and skills, and are a catalyst for their education and career planning. 
And so through my positions at the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce and the Council for College and Career Success, I'm actively working to reform education and instill 21st century skills in our youth, prepare them for successful careers that will benefit the Philadelphia economy. I want to thank you know, Rob Wonderling, uh, the president of the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce, for his leadership at the chamber. Again, under Joe Frick's leadership at the chamber, going back to 2006, the chamber got actively engaged in soliciting summer interns from the membership, and we've provided over 6,000 summer internships uh, during that period. And again, it, it, you know, they have to acknowledge the leadership of the College for, uh, Council for College and Career Success, a committee of Philadelphia Works, with Tony Bartolomeo, Lisa Nutter, Stacy. It's just, just a phenomenal group of leaders coming across um, workforce development programs as well as um, the, the business community. So in the summer of 2012, 86% of participants demonstrated skill gains in at least one of the four 21st century skills that were focused on during the program, and that's flexibility and adaptability, um, initiative and self-direction, productivity and accountability, and teamwork and collaboration, where everyone knows is very little, is no, well, nobody accomplishes anything by themselves. It's all a team effort, and we need to teach those, those skills um, in, in an aggressive way, and this uh, program does that in a big way, that, that real-life experience of working in teams and advancing a cause. So, well, we've been fortunate at Citizens Bank to have seen this firsthand with Andrea Poe, who continues to stay in contact with her mentor at Citizens Bank, Atif Bostic, who's one of our great leaders. Through the relationship she's built here, coupled with one-on-one -on -one collaborations, she's taken the initiative to enroll herself in Community College of Philadelphia while continuing her senior year classes in high school. She'll now be dual enrolled to gain a jump start on her college career. In addition, she'll be looking to pursue a teller position with Citizens Bank when she turns 18. And one of the other big things we need to push as employers is using our uh, college reimbursement programs. Most, most large employers have great programs. You, 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 I'd hate to have to tell you how low the utilization rate is. We need to drive that forward. And these, these programs enhance that as well and need to keep, keep driving there. So the bottom line is, you know, why, why should other business leaders get involved? There are more than 30,000 employers in Philadelphia, and, and, and the mayor mentioned some of the, the, the big uh, players within this program, but what we need to do is there's 30,000 employers in Philadelphia. Only 146 employers are currently providing financial support to work-ready summer jobs. We want more companies to join this effort because the bottom line, we as, as this local economy grows and that tide rises, we all benefit, we all need to participate, and we have a lot of efforts going to target those middle market companies where maybe they can only take one or two internships, but the bottom line, it all matters in a big way. So uh, one, one example um, uh, of a local business who's truly uh, dedicated to work ready is TD Bank. They're an outstanding supporter of the work ready summer jobs and have already committed to hiring 25 interns uh, in summer of 2013, similar to what Bank of America has done. So this is a great collaboration. So you're sitting here with the CEO of Citizens Bank complimenting TD Bank and Bank of America because the bottom line, it, it, take, it really does take a village sometimes and this is a case where it does take a village to make sure that we're collectively uh, successful. So. What we were going to do and we're going to continue to work is make sure that the business community of Philadelphia is energetic, passionate, and powerful on this issue. Uh, so again, this is a community that I'm proud to be a part of and, and lead from, the chamber, from chairing the Chamber of Commerce perspective. So we are committed to the Work Ready program as a business community. We know it's an imperative, an economic imperative for the great future of Philadelphia being that world-class city that we, we are. We already are world-class, but being the very best city in the world, which we all know we can be, uh, as you know, Philadelphians, as uh, Michael, it's a very competitive people. We want to thank the mayor for setting the bar nice and high for us. We let you know if you don't set your aspirations high, you're not going to achieve very much. It's one of the things we teach. So thank you, Mayor. You're setting welcome. a good, good high bar. <laughs> we'll next year. So, but but <laughs> we got to beat Boston. We, we that's kind of a theme within uh, Citizens Bank as well. So anyway, <laughs> um, but the bottom line, uh, it's uh, again I'm. Please, and, and your attendance is of critical importance, showing your personal passion, whether it's uh, labor leadership, um, Pat Eiding, and so many corporate leaders that are here. But the bottom line, it is about the young people and the youth of our city that are the vibrancy and the future of our city. So um, I, I get a chance to introduce um, uh, Somali Stray, a former work ready summer intern, now a young professional in the healthcare industry. So Somali's going to give us a, a little bit of her story. So thank you for your attention, and welcome, Somali. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Somali Ray, and I'm former Work Ready Philadelphia summer intern. Um, in the summer of 2005, as a rising junior at 
Bartram High School, I participated in a summer internship at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia in a division of oncology. As a result of my internship, I was offered an opportunity to work part-time as a CHOP employee after school. I worked with um, a team of, called the Pediatric Advanced Care Team, which consisted of physicians, registered nurses, social workers, chaplains, and an art therapist. We cared for children with life-limiting illnesses and their families. After graduating from high school in 2007, I continued my education at Wagner College in Staten Island, New York. I majored in physics, and my experience working at CHOP with this interdisciplinary team is one of the best experiences I had as a young adult searching for a future career. Currently, I am a clinical research coordinator at CHOP in the Division of Cardiology, working on clinical trials involving in various cardiac defects in children and the impact of their conditions on their lives. I went from not knowing how, if healthcare or even research was a possible career for me to now feeling that I would love to pursue a career that ties research and my undergraduate studies of physics together. I have my work ready summer internship thanks for this current goal of mine. So cross your fingers for me as I prepare to take the GREs and apply for a graduate program, perhaps in biomedical engineering or something. All of the experiences and aspirations I have mentioned to you began with one thing, a work-ready summer job. Summer jobs do matter. It's important that as many young people as possible are offered the opportunity to work this and every summer here in Philadelphia. You just never know what can happen from one single experience, how it can change your future and the future of the youth of Philadelphia. Every opportunity a young person gets puts them and our city one step closer to success. Thank you. And now, I'd like to introduce Stacy E. Holland, President and CEO of Philadelphia Youth Network, the organization that serves as the managing partner of Work Rally Philadelphia. Good morning, can we please give Smiley another round of applause? I think it's always good to be reminded the fact that every adult, that as a, as a child, we actually had an experience as a young adult, and Samaya really reminded us that if we are willing to take a chance on a young person, they will thrive as they transition from their secondary into their post-secondary experience. It is critical that we as a city recognize that our young people really are our future. They are the individuals who will replace us. They are the individuals who will solve some of these large systemic and societal problems. These are the individuals that if we just took one opportunity to say, yes, I see you, I believe in you, and I'm willing to take a chance on you, they will thrive beyond our wildest imagination. Little did we know when a partnership was set up with CHOP that they would actually adopt these young people and transition them as to into their workforce, and that's really what we're looking for, that you will see the same talent that we see in the secondary environment. We see it every day, but as employers, you are really looking at your future. So we are so excited about this challenge and we do want to take I do want to take a couple of minutes to thank a few people <clears throat> definitely want to thank Mayor Nutter for his leadership and his throwing out a challenge for us as a city to respond to. Also want to thank Dan Fitzpatrick for his consistent leadership and other CEOs such as Tom Woodard and, and other folks who have really stepped to the plate and said we believe and we see these young people and we're willing to invest in them. We also want to thank um, the Chamber and Rob Wonderling. They've been a tremendous supporter. Our other partners, investors, this really is a village. There are a number of organizations and funders and adults who have rallied around to create this network of Work Ready Philadelphia, and we are extremely grateful for each and every person that gives of their time and talent to help make Work Ready possible. And last but not least, I absolutely have to thank my staff. Um, they have been absolutely tremendous, and we really, this would not exist without them. And we also want to thank the staff in the mayor's office, in the very mayor's office, that also provide a lot of support. 
So, you know, why get involved? Why now? Summer jobs not only enable a youth to earn funding, earn money, but they also provide the foundation for career access and exposure. As president and CEO of the Philadelphia Youth Network, I have seen firsthand the inspiring impact this city can create when we actually join forces and work for a common cause, especially on behalf of our young people. We did it last year when a review of our anticipated funding yielded that we would be short about 2,000 slots, we actually came together and raised a large amount of money, money as well as slots, and over 6,800 young people actually had an opportunity to work last year. Each of you, local, state, national leaders, as well as area employers, foundations, and other investors, utilized your influence and networks to encourage employers to support youth employment opportunities. And, I, and I'm pleased to say that you responded. It was this collective effort that prevented what was predicted to be a summer jobs crisis here in Philadelphia that we actually were able to serve over 6,800 young people. And I know that this summer we can absolutely do better. So I'm inviting you to join our challenge, and here's how you can get connected to Work Ready. You can either hire an intern yourself, it costs about $1,700 a slot. You can financially support a young person if you're not able to actually host them at your site. There are many employers who actually would like to host young people but may not be financially able to do so. You can also make a personal contribution towards youth slot Every dollar counts, and remember it's a village, so we blend money together very well, so there's no donation that's too small. And last but not least, absolutely help us get the word out. Talk to your network, put it on Facebook, on Twitter, direct them to our website of www.phillysummerjobs.org. You can find all the information you need as well as register. So in closing, I would just like to thank everyone for taking time out this morning to come and join us. I'm looking forward to seeing your pledge. Hit that website as quickly as possible. Um, Mayor Nutter, I'm absolutely confident that this city will respond to your challenge, and we will have 10,000 new trainees in our workforce this summer. So with that, let me just say thank you very much, and if I can answer any questions for the audience. Great. Stacey, thank you. Uh, just a couple last things. As I mentioned, I had uh, just a few folks uh, that, uh, that I wanted to, um, to thank and, and recognize as well. A couple I've been mentioned, but uh, bear uh, repeating. Uh, Pat Eiding, thank you uh, so, so very much uh, for being here, AFL-CIO uh, in Philadelphia. Mark Edwards, Philadelphia Works, thank you uh, so much. Lisa, thank you, Philadelphia Academies. I saw in the back Charmaine Matlock Turner, UAC. Tom, Tom, Tom Schumacher from TD Bank. Hey, Tom, thank you. Okay, you escaped me, sir. You've been moving around in the back. Tom Schumacher from uh, TD uh, Bank, and Lori Shore, of course, our Chief Education Officer uh, for the City of Philadelphia. Everyone knows uh, Craig White, uh, uh, Craig from PGW, thank you. Tony Bartolomeo, uh, Pannoni, and many, many others. Um, we are uh, in the process of sending out a variety of letters uh, about this program uh, to companies that do business with uh, the City of Philadelphia. We're calling on all of those who do business with us uh, to work with us uh, in uh, this effort. Uh, and another batch of letters uh, going to uh, those who just hold a uh, business license. Uh, here in Philadelphia. As was mentioned earlier, we have thousands of people who are in business uh, in this city. Uh, we're calling on everyone uh, to help us out, take on uh, this uh, great challenge. If you want to help the city, hire a team. If you want to help the economy, hire a team. If you want to help a team, hire a team. Uh, it's, um, it's really important. Uh, it, the skills uh, that they learn, the interaction with another adult, uh, the spending money certainly is important. Um, many of the young people will not be putting uh, that money into their 401k or other retirement uh, plans. They're not putting them in tax shelters. They will spend that money. And actually, it acts as a, bit of a, a little bit of a jump start uh, to the economy. But the most important component is it's preparing them for their future. It keeps them safe. They're learning something during the course of the summer. I had a summer job. I will never forget it. I actually had a job my entire uh, high school uh, career. I worked at the neighborhood drugstore uh, from eighth grade 
through my first year in college. It was a tremendous uh, experience, met a ton of folks, learned about uh, the world of business in a small uh, family business in the neighborhood. But the most important component was it caused me to start thinking about my future. Much like uh, uh, Somali, uh, I was thinking about uh, the world of uh, medicine. Obviously, for other reasons that didn't completely work out, um, and uh, you know, I appreciate her uh, uh, love of uh, physics. Uh, I enjoyed physics in high school, uh, kind of, um, and uh, never thought about taking it in college. But that's a whole other story. Um, Chop, of course, the number one children's hospital in the world, uh, made a great, great decision. Uh, when they uh, when they brought her on, but you, if you listen to that story, internship to part time job to focus by her on her college education and now out of college working at that location. But it started with a summer job. That is uh, really the entire key. So lastly, in addition to letters, uh, some of the business uh, folks know uh, that I was on the phone uh, about uh, ten days or so ago. Uh, Ed uh, Fisher and I and a couple other folks. So, as much as oftentimes people do enjoy uh, talking uh, to the mayor, uh, if you get one of these calls, uh, I would suggest that you're probably not going to be that excited. So, do yourself a favor. <laughs> Call us first. Put up some jobs. Otherwise, I'm going to be calling you personally. It will be a very short conversation. It will be mostly one way. You will just say yes uh, when we are done, and I will say thank you and goodbye. Uh, so uh, however you want to do it, we need to make sure that young people have a positive experience uh, this summer. Let us pull together uh, as a city. We can do better than what we've been doing. We appreciate what's been happening. It's not enough. It's never enough. And it's never enough for young people here in Philadelphia. So the challenge is out there. Let us respond. We're Philadelphians. We will fight about anything. Uh, we will argue over anything. Uh, there are people debating right now whether it is 25 degrees outside or 30 degrees. That's just the way we are. Uh, let's take up this great challenge and blow right past uh, the 10,000. With that, I'd be glad to take any questions from the news media. Who I also look forward to participating in the 10,000 <laughs> job challenge. Thank you very, very much. See you.